Good morning, my little avocados. Please don't forget to subscribe and like for more great videos just like this one. Today, we're going to learn about problem and solution. First, let's find out what is a problem? A problem is something that went wrong. Jessica was trying to get some milk out the refrigerator. It was too heavy and the milk fell on the floor and spilled everywhere. Solution. The solution is how the problem was fixed. Dad walks by and notices that Jessica is sitting on the floor and the milk is spilled everywhere. He grabs a paper towel and helps her to clean up, clean up. Now let's look at some examples of problem and solution. What do you think the problem is here? Awesome. Correct. The problem is that James received an F. Poor James. What do you think James wants? I think he wants a better grade. So let's help James find some solutions to his problem. One way that James can solve his problem is by studying more. Another way is that he can study with his friends. James can also pay more attention in class. I know, I know. And he can ask his parents to help him study. Can you think of another way that you can help James solve his problem? Let's look at another problem. What do you think the problem is here? Awesome guac sauce. Correct. The problem is that she is cold. What do you think she wants? I agree. I think she wants to be warm. One way that she can solve her problem is by putting on a thick coat. Another way is by sitting by a warm, toasty fireplace. She can also sit in a car and turn the heat on. Or she can drink a hot cup of cocoa. Yum! Can you think of any other ways that she can solve her problem? Our story today is about a very special frog and what happens when he is brought to school for show and tell day. As we read the story today, I want you to infer using the clues from the story and what you know and think about how the character feels. Before we get started, let's check out some interesting words that we will see in our story. It's vocab time. Vocab is vocab time. Our vocabulary words for today are unique and bold. Unique means something special or one of a kind. Bulge is to stick out, looking bigger and wider. Grab some guacamole and let's see what happens as we read Mr. Hopper Goes to School by Cassandra Atkinson. It was a special day at school for Fari's class because it was show and tell day. Her teacher, Ms. Malia, allowed the students to bring their favorite thing from home to show the class. Fari brought her pet frog, Mr. Hopper. Mr. Hopper was a unique frog because his eyes were as blue as the sky after the rain. His skin was olive green with round orange and dark green speckles of different sizes. However, the most unique thing about Mr. Hopper was that he always looked as though he was smiling. Miss Malia told Fari not to take Mr. Hopper out of his container until it was her turn to present. However, while Ryan was showing his guitar, Fari took Mr. Hopper out of his container to show Michaela. 
When Michaela touched Mr. Hopper, she shouted, Ew, he is slimy! Miss Malia looked around to see what was happening, but Michaela had already quickly passed him to Roshane, who hid him under his shirt. When Roshane passed Mr. Hopper to Kel, he jumped on top of Kel's head, saying, Ribbit, ribbit. Kel's eyes bulged out. He was so scared he couldn't speak. Kel jumped out of his seat and started running around the room screaming, Help! Help! Fari got up from her seat and started running behind Kel trying to grab Mr. Hopper, but she missed and fell on a floor pillow. Then Roshane got up and said, I'll get him. He started running after Kel and Mr. Hopper when he tripped over Fari and landed in the large container of slime the class collected for a science experiment. Miss Malia told the class to sit down, but Kel was so scared he kept running. Miss Malia then tried to grab Mr. Hopper when he jumped into her bag, she quickly grabbed him and placed him back into his container. By this time, Miss Malia was tired from all the excitement. She fell back into her chair, wiping the sweat from her forehead. She said, okay, class, let's settle down. Fari was sad because she knew that all this happened as a result of her not listening to Miss Malia. Suddenly, Michaela said, Look at Mr. Hopper. I think he had fun today. Mr. Hopper had the biggest smile on his face, which made everyone start to laugh. Okay, Miss Malia said to Fari, now I see why you brought Mr. Hopper to show and tell. He is really something special. Rabbit, rabbit. The end. That story was guactastic. Now that we know how to identify problem and solution, let's put our skills to the test. So a problem is something that went wrong. Our solution is how the problem was fixed. Let's circle the problem in the story. Was it the first image of Kel running and screaming because Mr. Hopper is on top of his head? Or is it the second image when everyone was laughing? Awesome guac sauce. Correct. The correct answer is the problem to the story is when Kel was running because Mr. Hopper is on top of his head, causing all the confusion and excitement in the classroom. Which of these is the solution to the problem in our story? Is it the image of when Miss Monkey started to dance? Or is it the image of when Miss Malia caught Mr. Hopper? Awesome guac sauce! Correct! The correct solution to the problem in the story is when Miss Malia caught Mr. Hopper, which ended all the excitement and confusion in the classroom. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any awesome videos. Have a guacalicious day and I love you my little avocados.